Fish? Oh, what we got there, Lukey? Yeah, it looks like a snook. Snook, we'll see if there's another one with it. It's fighting Birds like a trout there. there first. Doing top water here before the sun's up. Yep. God, that is such a good sound. It's not much wind out here, and you just hear that pop. That is a good way to start oh. the morning off right there. No Little doubt, dude. Top water snook. It's a respectable one. And we're here on a little beach in Tampa, St. Pete area. Get around here real quick. In Moonwalker. Moonwalker's getting the job done. This guy just slurped it down too. And a little Dr. Juice on there too. <laughs> we got birds all over the place here. All right, let's go, buddy. All right, don't make so much commotion, I can't catch a fish. This guy's... What do we got? Oh, that's a nice one, dude. Solid snook there. Absolutely. Yeah, he just sucked down that moonwalker. Right there, and it's... Both hooks are probably in him. That's a solid fish there. Get this guy unhooked. Hey, do you mind shooting us off to the right real quick? You got the remote. All right. I can't see it. Yeah, turn. All right. There we go. And I'm going to keep on fishing. Yeah, so Luke was out here, what, the other day, and uh, just happened to be, wasn't even fishing, just kind of scouting the tower and saw a bunch of snook. And this is, we're in, what, two feet of water here. There's a little bit of a beach, pretty decent grass. Saw some snook roaming, and dude, that was one of the first casts of the morning. All right. Gotta love that. Job, and dude. Off. Good job. So worst case, next. Oh, there's some bait right there too. Ooh. We'd actually hit the real beach, but hopefully we don't even have to. Yeah, and so with with snook, and uh, this is the moonwalker that we're using, and there's a lot of snook here, so I have a 30 pound little bite tippet. So it's 20 pound mono, and then down to 30 right before the top water. That way, when you hook into these snook, they uh, they're not going to steal our lures. And the fact that it's this, it's this, you know, it's pretty much still dark. You know, it's not dark, but it's you know still not light out. So that's it's not going to decrease the amount of strikes. But you hear from a lot of people that use 20 pound on top water and hook into a big snook, and that is the odds of landing a big snook on 20 is yeah. really small, Ooh, watch especially out, birds. especially if it's fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon just gets gets worn through much quicker uh, with snook compared to regular mono. So I I now just use regular mono for everything. And my amount of snook that I lose has significantly gone down compared to when I was using fluoro. That's a, were you doing that same fast cadence? Yeah. You were? Yeah, yeah right, now is the, right now is prime time, so we've got to just cover ground. And you're moving that sucker. All right. Yeah, so just doing um, a pretty fast walk the dog. We've got the, this is gonna be the best bite of the day, right until we start, start getting a shadow from the sun. So just trying to cover as much ground as possible. Yeah, and so yesterday I just went out and I just got up in the tower and I was just kind of just, just idling around looking because you had to be out about this far from shore and can easily see all the way up to the shore. And if the sun was out obviously at that time and Saw a good amount of snook a little bit further up here. This area looks awesome. There's bait all down here below. Yeah. We got birds. If you look over here, Joel, right to our left. Bird cruising the beach. A little bit of grass, which I, meaning floating grass, which I don't love. That's where the, it's the single inline hooks come into play as well. Yeah. Yeah, there's a pretty good amount of floating grass. And they're all like single, the single strand floating grass, which is good. And, just, and uh, with trebles, it has a much higher odds of, of snagging on that grass. It can be very frustrating. Singles, it'll usually just plow right through it. In this little pothole here, huh? This area looks awesome. Yeah, we should be able to pick up another snook or two. It was off these rocks is where uh, Seeing most of them yesterday. More birds up there. 
just want to talk about the inline hooks not catching grass. <laughs> Nothing's, nothing will get through this amount of grass without getting snagged. No, you imagine if you had troubles. I was like, what is that? Sprinkler system. So we yeah. did something crazy this week. We were just telling Joel we uh, closed on the property for the new Salt Strong headquarters. This is not the same as the theme park but certainly gets us one step closer, but it is on the water. So we're going to be able to do demonstrations, test out stuff, probably start offering kayaks and, and paddle boards as well, which is pretty exciting. Watch out for that bird. He's oh, going to be going yeah. after your lure. That means it's looking realistic. He's all about that lure. No doubt. He says, I want a piece of that moonwalker. So anyhow, we're... Uh, I'm pretty stoked. It's still going to be um, another five, six months before we have that first a bunch of pinfish down here. Kind of welcome kickoff party, if you will, but more details to, to follow. We're uh, probably going to do something pretty unique with a, uh, what do we call it, the Founders Club? Yeah, I'll come up with it. Something like that. Yep. For some of you members who want to be part of the Founders Club. Yeah, we have a lot of renovations, a lot of renovations needed for it, but it's going to be awesome. We're going to do something pretty unique, all I will say. But no, we're just, we're stoked. Um, whole team is really, really stoked. One, to, I mean, everyone likes to work in a cool place. Two, to be able to go on your lunch break and catch fish, because you better believe we are going to have that place stocked with some fish. It's on a, a public lake, but meaning we are going to be feeding them. So there will be, golly, this grass. There will be all kinds of fish down there. And that opens up the door for us to do stuff with, you know, Cast for Kids, who we sponsor every year. Their events, that's where they take the disabled and... Uh, Oh man, that looks so good. Disabled kids fishing and then Fishing's Future with our old buddy Shane, where they do fish camps and always looking for locations. So we have a private boat ramp so we could host boats. And we also have a dock and a little seawall. So yeah, we could- a couple, really couple acres of property too, so plenty of parking. Cover everything. Yeah, all this floating stuff. There's a bunch of weeds here. So we got to get a little bit past. Looks like it goes up another 50 yards. Right in the sweet spot, too. Uh -huh. Should have brought my bullfrog. So oh. There's a little bullfrog lure that I didn't bring this time that I, I like for situations like this where we're on a topwater bite situation and it's just too much weeds to do a traditional topwater. This bullfrog will ride right on top of it and just get slammed. Even though it's a freshwater lure, snook, trout, redfish, I've even jumped tarpon on it. It's a lot of fun to use. Stinking here, this weeds. Is just, this is just a line of weeds right there. Let's see if I can jump over it. Nope. Oh. Big bud's going out. I'm gonna go way up there. Uh, I think we're, we're almost done with the weeds. This, this is getting closer to the zone where, oh, sorry, I think I just, I think I just crossed you. You think you did or you did? <laughs> Unbelievable. You guys are listening. Luke cast right over me, right next to me also. Double slap in the face. All right. Where are these big snook, Lugie? They're around here somewhere. Hopefully they're hungry for top water. All right. And uh, so tell everyone what you were just telling me. Uh, we, you know, we met with Cash and Rods, and uh, we've been a fan of theirs for yeah, a I don't, while. I don't think I don't know if it's uh, up for disclosure yet on ah, that specific okay. name, but Got we it. do have a cool, a really cool opportunity to work with uh, with Cash and Rods, which is a a rod company made in the USA. Rods. They're out of uh, out of North Carolina. Um, 
have some 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 great great rods. One of which I actually have with me. Their their bait casting one is awesome, and we're gonna actually carry that in the store here pretty soon. It's a seven four rod. It's the one I've been using a lot for fishing power prawns around bridges, and it's light enough to have really good feel, but it's strong enough to pull out you know upper slot snook and over slot snook from bridges and dock pilings. That's for so a, ca a casting rod. Yeah, it's a casting rod. So that's the rod that kind of got me back into casting. I, for a long time, I kind of got, got away from casting setups, just doing spinning everything. And, uh, and that rod has been, been really, really nice. What reel are you using? The uh, Tatula. Tatula SV is the name of it. Yeah. Big waves. I like that, uh, that Daiwa Coastal, the TRS. Yeah. I have the Quantum as well. Smoke. Yeah, I've got a Smoke as well. I've been happy with that one. Yeah, it's been good. i take the Daiwa over it. Yeah. Also a little bit more expensive, but. Yeah, way more expensive. <laughs> about about a hundred bucks. But it's smooth like butter. All right, this should be the zone in here. We don't get anything in the next 10 minutes, we're gonna bail. Go to spot number two. All it takes is one. One blow up. Love some top water. All right. Yeah, it was a totally different tide when I was here yesterday. Is that like your excuse? No, I'm just talking about, uh, I don't know what's going on with the troll motor here. Oh boy. Now that's a legit excuse. There we are. There now, we it's, go. now it's working. Extra thrust. But yeah, I just kind of buzzed by here. It was a strong incoming tide when I came, and now we're at the end of the outgoing. So I'm not sure how to fish this area enough to know where they move around and when, but this, this zone right up here is where I would, where I'm assuming they're going to be holding during this time. All right. Oh, these weeds are killing me today. I know. A bunch of weeds up there. And we got Power Prawn. The packaging was holding back, so we were essentially out in a couple of uh, the Power Prawns, USA version. That's back in. Let's give you guys some tackle updates. And uh, got some new bundles. Everyone seems to love the bundles. We all love saving money. Bundling stuff together. We have all kinds of bundles coming up here, and but the coolest thing that's coming September. is the lure doctor. So we're gonna have a lure doctor. It's gonna be an online survey that uh, that I'll go through. You fill it out, talk about the you know types of areas you're fishing, water clarities, depths, and uh, and the species you're going after, and then we'll the system will go through. The uh, the algorithm and then recommend uh, a certain certain uh, certain lures right based on based on what you're fishing so that'll be pretty cool working on that right now and if you're wondering why the lure doctor it's the same reason you go to a doctor and they don't prescribe the same thing to every single person and yet that's what happens so often in fishing right and you even will see. YouTube videos or questions. Hey, what, do you, what, what rod do you recommend? Well, you can't just say a rod or a reel. You kind of need to start asking questions like a doctor would to get a diagnosis based on the problem, right? And yep. Justin's really good at that on our team. So I'm like, hey, what's, what's the best intro fishing rod? Like, all right, are you using it for live bait or artificial lures? Uh, what kind of structure are you fishing? What, what braid are you using? What kind of lures you using if you're using lures? Start really diving down before you can make a recommendation. The same thing you'd hope a doctor would, would do. You don't just go in there and say, I feel sick, and oh, here you go. <laughs> He's probably gonna ask a couple, what do you got a headache? Toothache? Toeache? What is it? So who's who's the doctor? Anyone on our team? MD? I'm just gonna pretend. Just gonna put fancy little lab coats on. That's right. So it's gonna be good. Um, and that way we'll be able to recommend exactly what you need based on what you're using and what you're targeting. 
So it will not be a one size fits all. So one person might get one recommendation, the next person gets something completely different. Yeah, they're just mats of weeds out here. And if you go through the mat, it is yeah. game over. You almost just, you got about 10 feet there. You gotta make those first 10 twitches count. Pray you're gonna be in front of a snook's face before you catch the weeds. Deep. I'll take a tarpon too. That one tarpon blow up on top water. Not yeah. too long ago, Moonwalker, that was awesome. Got one jump out of him before it sailed out. I'll take it. All right, come on, baby. Oh, got you again. Oh, I hardly noticed. All right, Luke went over me again. Uh, man, funny, I was hoping, got hit there right next to you. <laughs> I was hoping that was going to be uh, coming across a point here. Oh, baby. Hopefully it's a point with fewer weeds. Yeah, these weeds are getting unbearable. We're not going to be here much longer. Yeah, so what next? We just hit the, hit the beach? Yeah, there's some uh, little beach that's been holding uh, some fish. We'll go try that next. And maybe not top water, or stick with top water. Might work. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna go power prawn. I'm gonna go slam shady. Then once the sun comes up, of course, it's good and bad. The good part is you get to visually see everything. We can see them. They can see us. Mm-hmm. But there is something cool about sight casting. We're on that beach uh, when we had uh, our insider member, uh, Wally, remember? And I was up on the tower. Yep. And you guys, I'm pointing out the snook, they couldn't see it, so I ended up making a cast that it was slam shady and the snook actually hit it. Oh, I love that. A little bit tougher to fight from the tower sometimes, at least to land it. All right, last cast, and if nothing here, we're going. Yeah, summertime, it's really about early morning especially with lures, early morning bite is, is the best, regardless of tide. And uh, we're getting, you know, every second is counting more than anything else right now. So the fact that we're just catching weeds almost every cast, like you can see, if you look down here, you can see all these weeds. This is just, this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> That's all just all scattered stuff. Even with single end, look at this. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. So, so this is when the bullfrog would come into play. I didn't bring it today. I, it hasn't been weedy like this lately. So we're gonna go ahead and bail. Not worth uh, not worth fighting. Yep, fighting nature. Yeah. So one to there, uh, you guys get to see what happens in real life. Started off within the first couple casts. Luke gets a nice snook, and then uh, you know what? Some point you have to say mercy and move on <laughs> to the next one. But this is also, this is a great lesson because th this question comes up all the time, and and we see people who are having a tough day. And had we just kept doing this, right. uh, we would have been miserable. Lose or lose it. And, uh, and probably pretty frustrated, right, of just continually fishing an area that, even if the fish are here, it's just tough when you have that many weeds. So we, we, we bolt. That's what we're going to do. Yep. Go find a place without weeds. Let's do it. All right. So, guys, appreciate you. Uh, we'll have another live. We'll probably just go back-to-back -back live. Promises we don't make any cuts or edits. So we're not going to just leave the camera running while we move. So this is the episode, one of the quickest ones ever. At least we've got one snook. You guys get to see what really happens in the water and how quickly, after 15, 18 minutes, I'm not catching fish and not seeing any blow ups, we're gonna move. So on to the next one. Peace.